welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at creating the sign-in screen over here in XD. So let's start off. But before we do that, I'm gonna make a little bit of changes to this just to make it a little bit more pleasant to look at. Now the color over here is completely set to white, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and change this to a little darker color. So I'm gonna just click on plus to create a new swatch. So that is D2, D2, D2. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select each of these elements and add in the same gray color that we defined earlier. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can go ahead and create the next screen. Now the login screen is gonna be the same as the sign-in screen. So I'm not gonna go ahead and recreate the entire thing. Rather, I'm gonna copy the entire artboard. So to do that, I'm just gonna hold on Alt on my keyboard, click on the title of this screen, and just move it over to the side. Now it's gonna take a while because it's copying a lot of data. And I'm just gonna release to make a copy of this. Now I'm gonna go and call this sign up screen. Okay, now uh, I think I made a mistake. So this is gonna be sign up and this is gonna be the same here, which is gonna be sign up. Okay, now obviously when you're in the sign up screen, we want this to be on this side. Okay, and now here is where we're gonna be using the repeat grid feature. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and select all of these elements so let's just select this, 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 and this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on repeat grid and that's gonna convert this into this green dotted line and these two handlebars. All I gotta do is select this and just drag this down like so. And then click on ungroup grid and now that makes it into individual pieces. Now, before we doing that, we can also go ahead and increase the spacing like so. so you know, we can have the exact amount of spacing and if we just click away, we can see how it looks. Um, I think the spacing is a little bit too much. So I'm going to probably reduce this down to 40. So let's say 41 and that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to go select this and click on ungroup grid. Now I can individually go and select this and uh, this is going to be my password. So I'm just going to go and put in a couple of dots like so and select this. We can increase the size of this to 20 if you want to make it bigger. And I'm gonna go and just right click and choose ungroup to ungroup everything so I can individually control each of these elements. I'm gonna move this over to the side over here. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, ungroup. And uh, this is gonna be my name. Okay. And let's just move this over to the side again. This is going to be my pass. So this is going to be my email ID. So I'm just going to make a fictitious email ID, which is actually not my email ID. So if you guys try to send a mail to that, it's not going to work out. All right. And the last one is my birthday. So yeah, I'm that many years old. I know. And move this over slightly. Now we got to add the icons to this. So I'm just going to go to my previous document, uh, which is this one. And I'm just going to copy all these, uh, these two, then make a copy by pressing control C, come back over here and I'm just going to place it up right over here. And uh, I'm going to go and change the color of this to the one which we picked. Okay. Uh, now the lock is going to come down. The email icon is going to come over here and the birthday icon is going to come over here. Okay, uh, we got to work a little bit more on the spacing, so let's do that. Okay, I think it's perfect. All right, there we go. Now, the last thing we want to change is this over here. So we're going to go click on this and choose connect. And uh, this one, double click on this, and this is going to be terms and conditions. There we go. So that is our sign up screen. So thank you guys so much for watching till here. And in the next part of the video, we're going to go and start creating the home screen. So I'll see you guys in the next video.